Welcome to day 11 of our 30 day mindfulness challenge. Take a beautiful deep breath in, raising our vibration, kissing our higher self, relaxing, exhaling, letting it all out. Inhaling deeply, all beautiful, fresh new beginnings, exhaling completely everything that goes against your happiness. You may even get a spontaneous yawn, a release upon your exhale. That's beautiful. Wiggle out your shoulders. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your body. And wiggle your toes. How does that make you feel? Silly? Free? Self-conscious? Relaxed? What you just did was become mindful of your very moment. Let's do that again. Take a beautiful deep breath in. Kissing your higher self, connecting with the divine. Radiating on high. Exhale. Inhale and allow your thoughts to wander. Allow your thoughts to take you where they take you. being mindfully present. You may hear the creaks in the house, your neighbors upstairs, family members. You may hear the refrigerator running. Whatever it is, You're just aware of it, nothing more, nothing less. You can feel the minutia happening in your feet. Your blood circulating. All of the movement within your human. Happening without your approval. It just is. And guess what? You are doing something powerful and loving. 
you are just being still. You are just being you. You are being mindfully aware, present. You are allowing time to stand still. Take another beautiful deep breath in. Deep, deep, deep. Come on. Challenge your human. You can do this. Deep, 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 deep. And exhale. Blow it all out away from you. You may bend your back and go away. Inhale and come back in. Are your fingers stretched out? Are they nestled safely and securely in your lap? Are you laying down? Are you walking? That thought The answer to the questions I just posed means you are mindfully present. You are not allowing life to just happen. You are enjoying life on your terms when you are mindfully present. You are very aware of the little things that are happening inside of you and around you with or without you and that is a very powerful position when you are reaching a goal. You are aware that failure will happen. And when it does, you will be mindfully aware and present for it. And what does that do for one that is ambitious and driven? It allows one to learn from the failures and take that blessed knowledge and repurpose that failure as wisdom and use it as a building block because failure is a part of the journey to success. Being mindfully aware of who supports you and who doesn't and how that makes you feel. Being mindfully aware of the disappointment, the deception, the disillusion, the abandonment, as well as the excitement, the overwhelming support and guidance, the love, the community, connection, the relationships of the business partners, the self-gratifying feeling of the wins you help your clients receive the satisfaction of your customers, the happiness in growing your business, obtaining increased financial wealth, 
receiving and giving true unconditional love, understanding, appreciation, all of those feelings, those experiences you get to have and enjoy and be an active participant each moment through being mindful. So, as you hear my printer, being mindful that that's happening, but I'm not freaking out that it happened and feel, oh, I have to do this all over again. It happened. It's a part of the experience. I'll take that knowledge and next time I'll have the printer turned off. Being mindfully aware of your surroundings, but allowing it to happen because it's going to happen with or without your approval. It's with or without you. And so on this goal, on day 11, I need you to write in your journal, day 11 at the top, and I need you to say, I am a winner. And I need you to write how you're feeling at this very moment. And I need you to write this. I am a winner with or without you. And I want you to put a name next to that you. Now here's the tricky part. You're going to reflect and I want you to reflect on who that is with or without you. Who is it that you're going to win in spite of their lack of support or their encouragement? Whether they're there or not, you're going to win. Here it is. First name on that list must be you're human. I am going to win with or without you, Jennifer. With or without you, I am a winner. And it may be your sister, it may be your spouse, it may be your co-workers, your management, it may be the city that you live in, the state, it may be your children, it may be the job, it may be your fears that you're talking to. I am a winner with or without you. Fear. I am a winner with or without you. Procrastination, I am a winner with or without you. Obligations, I am a winner with or without you. Family, that's tough. Because if family are your whys, but you're willing to do it with or without them, that means in the dark moments, in the lonely moments, in the times you want to give up, in the moments that family stresses you all the way out, that you really, really want to quit, you really want to give in and not run for your goal. In those moments, you're saying, with or without them, I'm doing this for them. And if they can't appreciate it, that's okay because I'm doing it anyway because you know what's best for you and your life with or without anybody's approval validation or support you 
are the owner of your life, the captain of your own destiny.